Okay, here they come. The Warpit. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, Firefly Green. Uh, an old color. So, uh, we have now the new uh, war paints for Team Yankee. Uh, one time Yankee Green and one time Soviet Green. Uh, two different colors. Uh, Soviet Green uh, looks like uh, really olive drab ones and uh, Team Yankee US Green uh, a really bright uh, and shiny green okay um, let's have a look at these uh, sprays they all come in uh, 400 uh, millimeter milliliter uh, spray cans uh, they have lower pressure than uh, the older ones uh, they have lower pressure on of the gas so I have made some uh, examples for you. I have sprayed them on uh, on white paper and even on my models to show you the finished example. Let's start with the Soviet gr uh, Soviet green. So the Soviet green one uh, spray uh, looks like. This I have here the spray color, and on this side the uh, from the from the paint of the bullet. So they are matching quite well uh, with the with the top, and even the colors uh, are matching the um, the spray uh, really well, and uh, they seem to be a little bit darker if you. Take it uh, a little bit thicker, not that much uh, thinned. Uh, you can even thin it more to have uh, in these lighter uh, examples. So I have sprayed my my Soviet tanks in two different colors because the color, the spray paint come a little did come a little late. So I did it uh, the one. Uh, the upper tank here uh, in uh, World War Two UK color uh, is at the moment known as Firefly Green, British armor for older, and um, in my opinion, it matches much much better than uh, the real pictures and the real colors. Um, in my research, I, I have. Uh, found out uh, that much of the Soviet green colors had three standard tones, three different standard greens, and they were all mixed together. So you can have uh, all mixes in green. Uh, they are, they could be uh, similar to each other, but uh, not differ this much. So. Uh, This upper one I in British armor, and this, the lower one in the Soviet Team Yankee. So I will swap the turrets to see uh, the biggest difference. So let's roll over here so you can see the difference. I hope it blends too much. So, in my opinion, you can use both colors. The newer one and the older one spray. It will match uh, the Russian style very well. Um, for the Russians, I will I will make uh, only a monochrome a monochrome uh, st uh, color scheme. Even uh, if they're later uh, releasing a, a T80 tank, there I might be a two colors uh, screw. Uh, 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 um, no, uh, a two color uh, camouflage uh, scheme uh, might uh, a green one in, with the yellow uh, who's, uh, who was commonly seen. Uh, 
So this was the Soviet tanks. Now head over to the to the color of the US forces. So we have seen the US forces have a real a bright green. Uh, it will match the, the the paint bottle really well. I've here painted two dots of paint aside of the spray paint so you can see it here and go over with this so it matches uh, itself very very well so let's go a little bit out and also I didn't could wait uh, I couldn't wait until the now released uh, Yankee color to be released uh, so I did paint my US M1 tanks also with a different color uh, I made it with World War II Soviet armor or and now uh, it's called Tankovi green so in my opinion it suits the color much better than the Team Yankee Yankee Green because this is too bright. The Yankee Green is uh, in my opinion a false color. It's too much bright. It's uh, It hasn't uh, this, uh, this much on a brown. Uh, the olive in the color I, I'm expected and I have seen it and I looked over into the rule book and there is quite a difference. So let's look over into the rule book so you can see there is quite a difference into these colors. So. You know what I mean? The difference is is great, and I think there must be a false charge, or I don't know what was going wrong. But this isn't the color uh, which is supposed to be. I've looked a little bit down and saw the army green suits. The color of the the army green uh, suits the the color of the spray very well. So I looked also over to the infantry, and at the infantry, I must say I'm more pleased to use uh, to have uh, the to have it better here. So let's go over to the Russians to have a look of the match. So the basic color look, uh, matches much more better than the US one. So another thing I, I noticed is they might have used the same color to paint because if you look over at this you can see it Soviet green and Yankee green are the same paints but they have the different numbers so there must be an error uh, here I couldn't explain it me uh, otherwise so I think Battlefront make, made here uh, a nice mistake. So, uh, what will I s uh, say in the end? Uh, the US color doesn't match us. The US uh, 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 war paint doesn't, doesn't match us uh, very well. Um, it suits 
not the, as good as the Soviet spray. So uh, my advice to you is uh, use the old World War II Soviet spray or even the Team Yankee Soviet spray. I think the Team Yankee Soviet spray also matches the color really well shown us in the book. Moment. I come up here. So when you look at this, the Soviet spray matches it really really well. So you can uh, what you can do is to swap the colors. You can use uh, even the you can even use the Yankee green for you uh, for Soviet tanks and the Soviet color for US tanks. Because uh, if we look at the the, the, the paint uh, paintings here, um, the Soviet spray uh, uh, is much more olive drab used by the NATO forces than uh, the Yankee spray would be. So in the end, my advice to you guys for for Soviet play for Soviet players use even this, these two colors if you want to have different uh, armor units to be shown and for uh, the US player use the Soviet green uh, the old World War II US uh, is too much uh, too much olive it, uh, it won't suit that well so I use more uh, the World War II Soviet, Soviet Tankowy Green. Uh, I won't use this at the moment more, only to paint uh, to uh, prime infantry. And yeah, it's it's n it's not a good thing I've noticed. So I will uh, talk to my uh, local store, uh, Silent Night Games. Uh, the what battlefront is going up to do with this, uh, or uh, they have, or they have, uh, they have made a mistake, a great one. So, um, what are you? Uh, what's your opinion? You can write down uh, uh, comments uh, under this video if you have made similar um, primes. Uh, yeah, if you had made similar uh, things. So uh, feel free to write it down in the comments. Uh, I will say thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.